In this video, I'll talk about how do aquatic animals, the feces, survive inside a frozen lake. In order to understand this, you have to understand the anomalous behavior of water or the peculiar behavior of water. Why I'm calling peculiar? Let me explain this one. See, if you look at the, the water coefficient of volume expansion, it does change it between the different regimes. For example, here, between 0 degree to 10 degrees Celsius, this is the temperature, this side. So here, I'm. this is the temperature in degrees Celsius. So from, from 0 to 4 degrees Celsius, the water has a negative coefficient of volume expansion and a positive volume coefficient of volume expansion above 4 degrees centigrade what does that mean so if you have any material any material for example then when you change the temperature when you increase the temperature it expands it keeps expanding and it makes sense when you increase the temperature the atoms starts vibrating more vigorously and the spacing between the and uh, the atoms increases which makes the volume to expand because it has a lot more kinetic energy so it starts expanding but and if it expands uh, so if a material starts expanding with increase in temperature that means it does have a positive the coefficient of volume expansion the beta beta is called coefficient of volume expansion but the water between this temperature 0 degree to 4 degrees celsius and if you increase the temperature instead of water expanding it starts compressing or the volume starts decreasing as the volume starts decreasing the density starts increasing why because the density the formula for the density is mass per unit volume if the volume goes down that means the density goes up so the between 0 degree to 4 degree celsius between 0 degree to 4 degree celsius if you heat this one up the density starts increasing this is called the anomalous behavior of water or the peculiar behavior of water and this peculiar behavior of water makes all the aquatic animals thrive they survive even inside deep frozen lake okay so now let's say and let's say you have we have uh, a lake here uh, let me erase this one let's say we have a lake here this is the lake and let's say your starting temperature is 50 degrees celsius i'm just calling this one 50 degree and the temperature starts falling down from 50 to 40 to 30 to 20 to 10 to 4 and to 0 and to negative 6. as the temperature starts falling down what should happen as the temperature starts falling down the volume is to, the volume should go down and as the volume is going down the density has to go up which makes sense from this graph too as the temperature is going down the density starts increasing and it will keep the density will keep increasing till four degrees celsius when it, it reaches to the four degrees celsius then from 4 degree to 0 degree, the density starts decreasing. What does that mean again? That means the water is, has the highest density at 4 degree Celsius. And a densest material sinks at the bottom. So the water at the bottom of the lake, all of the waters will be in liquid form because it is the densest material. Okay, so the density of the, the water is different. Even inside a lake, the water at this point, at this point is the liquid water and this at the bottom, it is four degrees Celsius. Okay, and this liquid water makes all the aquatic animals survive even during the, the coldest winter or even during the frozen, uh, even in the frozen lake. So again, let me tell you, tell you one more thing. If I plot a graph here, if I plot a graph here, 
so at this point at this point if i record the temperature it should be four degrees celsius and and if i keep going up it should be two degrees celsius it should be here one degree celsius and it would be zero degree celsius and and this could be minus 10 degrees celsius so you clearly see the temperature has fallen down if you let's say if you record here minus 10 degrees celsius then that doesn't mean inside the inside the lake there is 10 minus 10 degrees celsius everywhere no if you record the temperature inside the lake then there is a gradual uh, the gradual gradual increase in temperature here zero degree one degree two degree and four degree and you might ask how come and the answer is because the water has the greatest density at four degrees celsius and the densest material sinks at the bottom and this peculiar behavior of water or without what you call the anomalous behavior of water makes the aquatic animals survive in the frozen lake so this is it from this video again if you have any questions please write down your questions in the comment section below and do not forget to like share and subscribe the channel thank you very much